Now in part B we're asked to find the approximate area under the graph. And to do that we're going to use the trapezium rule, which is just to split this up into several strips, okay, like this. Imagine that there are lines joining each strip like this. Okay, so we end up with trapeziums and as you can see a triangle here. So how do we use the trapezium rule? Well you should know the formula. It is essentially that the area is approximately equal to half the width of a strip. I'll write it all in words actually because I find it easier. Half the width of a strip okay, multiplied by the first height Okay, we just put first height there, plus twice the sum of the middle heights. So write that down, sum of the middle heights. And then we plus the last height. Now the heights are the y values. Okay, so what we can see is that this is going to be half the width, that's the width of a strip. Now the width of a strip, quite easy, you can see that this is naught, this is pi down here, and this first value is at pi upon 4, and so on, pi upon 2, and 3 pi upon 4. You wouldn't really have to draw this diagram, this is just here to illustrate what's going on. So the width of a strip, you can see is just simply pi upon 4. So it's going to be half of pi upon 4. And then it's multiplied by always the first height. That will be this height here. Looking in the table you can see that it's the y value here which is 0. I'm just going to put 0 in as a token that I've done that. Then it's plus twice the sum of the middle height. So the middle heights will be this one plus this one plus this one. They're the y values that you see in the table up here. So putting those values in, we've got 1.84432 plus the 4.1, 4.81047. Plus the last one here, 8.87207. Okay, close the bracket off, and then it's plus the last height. And the last height, this one here, under pi, is 0. So again, I'll just put the plus 0 in just to show that I know that that exists. Okay, so all that's left to do is just to work this out on the calculator and if you do this sum, you should find that you get 12.19476 and so on. Okay, so we're asked to give the answer to four decimal places, so that turns out to be 12.1948 to four decimal places, four dp. And that brings us to the end now of part B and the end of the question.